Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here back, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 hidden spots in the Cosmodrome. So before we get into it guys, I'm sorry if my mic sounds a little weird for this video, but we should have it fixed by the next video. Now hopefully you guys do enjoy it nonetheless. And with that being said, let's get right on into these spots. So with things changing in the Plaguelands, I thought it'd be the perfect time to show you guys some hidden spots as well as just some really awesome locations you guys can get into in the Cosmodrome before the Plaguelands is added and things change. Now the first spot I do want to show you guys is all the way back here in the Forgotten Shore. Now you will probably need bones of EAO and maximum agility to get into some of these spots, so it's definitely best to be on a Hunter if you're trying to get into a lot of just secret spots or really just any spots that require a lot of far jumps or anything like that. And it also is good to have a sword just to have a better perspective as well as be able to swipe and stay in the air just a bit longer. So the first spot to show you guys is right here in the Forgotten Shore. You can get all the way up on top of this tower and it's really just an amazing view up here. If you're ever just hanging out with friends or waiting for certain objectives to spawn in, this is really an awesome spot to come into. You can see all the way to the grottos as well as all of the Forgotten Shore from here. And you'll even see in a minute that I was even able to complete part of this event from this spot. Nothing was rendered in but I was able to get snipes on this guy and... It was still able to complete the event from here, so if you ever were just chilling out in the Forgotten Shore and you wanted to just kind of sit somewhere cool, this is definitely one of the best spots to get into. Good work. We'll get them all next time. Now the next spot I want to show you guys isn't exactly a secret spot, but it's really just a spot behind a wall that I found. I feel like there's a really good chance that this could be a part of the new Cosmodrome when the Plague Lens is added in just a few weeks here in the Rise of Iron pretty far back in the Cosmodrome, you would want to just come back, you'll probably recognize this area as soon as I show you. So this is actually a really awesome spot back here, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of hallways back here that a lot of people don't really use or go into a lot because it's just like not really much to do here, but as I was roaming around I ended up finding a secret hallway that I have a feeling is going to be added in the Rise of Iron, or we'll definitely be seeing it very shortly in some sort of story mission or something like that. It's not a hard spot to get into whatsoever, you just need to jump over those barriers and you'll actually find this logo here and that's when you know that you're in the right hallway. Then you can just hop over those barriers there. Now getting out just about is just as easy, you just need to hop into this little spot and you're able to fall right back out. Without further ado guys, let's get into the next spot. Alright guys, so this spot isn't actually on the Earth, but I just wanted to throw this in as a bonus. So if you're ever in the Tannic Strike, there's actually a secret room over here right next to where Tannic spawns in, right after the Spider Tank. This is a pretty awesome spot. There's a door here on the left, and if you actually pop open your Ghost Shell, the Ghost will somehow hack open the door for you and just allow you to gain access to this room. Now, you can't shoot Tannics or anything from up here, so you won't actually be able to complete the strike. And I wasn't able to find any sort of like Ghost Shells or anything in here to actually do. But this is just kind of a secret room here that I sh figured I'd show you guys nonetheless, just as like a little bonus. And it's actually just like a spectating room if you ever just want to spectate your friends killing Tannix. I'm sure they wouldn't be too happy about you not helping them out. But unfortunately you cannot shoot through this glass or anything like that. It's This is really just a spot to get into for fun. So next we have my personal favorite spot on the Cosmodrome. It's right next to where you spawn in originally. Although their Plague Lens will have its own spawn location, this is the original spawn back in year 1. Now you will definitely need a sword and bones of the AAO to complete this one. Now I believe you can take this glitch just a bit further and get on the platform that's right in front of me. But if you fall into this spot, it is actually just as good. You can see just about everything that you'd be able to see over there without actually having to get into that spot. Because you can see through all of the walls. Now unfortunately if you do get in this spot, you will need to return to orbit to get out of it. But if you just keep on the roof and keep swinging your sword and going around the corner, you can actually get back there as well. And there's a lot of cool things to see back there. So if you ever are just kind of bored and want to test this out for yourself, this is one of the coolest spots to get into in the Cosmodrome, in my opinion. Now, if you're just in this little room here, there's not really too much to do, but there's a little, there's a couple spots here and there where you can see through all the walls and see kind of what I was talking about before without actually having to go back there. And this is just a lot easier to get into than going all the way back there. Now, remember guys, if you do want to complete this, you're going to need to have a sword. All you really need to do is just pop a heavy synth and you'll end up having plenty of swings and it shouldn't really take you too many tries to get up here. So all you really need to do is jump off of the wall. You're going to have that little floating glitch like as if you're doing that tower glitch where you get on top of the vault. And then what you need to do is just swing your sword once, be able to get your double jump back as well, keep swinging, and then hope, so long as you're on the right side of this wall here, the timer to kill you won't actually pop up. 
Now right here is where you slip down, but if you actually jump up to that other platform that was right in front of me, that's how you get into the additional spots. And all you actually have to do is just jump one extra time and swing your sword and you should be able to get up there. You just need to make sure you make it before the four seconds run out so that you don't get respawned. So next up we have this area here. Remember when Deej fell off that wall back there in the live stream? That was pretty damn funny. Now you can actually get up onto some of these bridges. Now again, you will definitely need the Bonesy VAO as well as a sword to get into this spot. So what you, all you really need to do is hop up onto this unit here and then jump on over to the water tower. Now once you get on the water tower, you will only have a few seconds to complete the rest of this, but it is quite easy. You hop up onto the water tower, triple jump up here, you don't need to swing your sword or anything like that. But once you get to this part, all you need to do is jump once, you're going to get that floating glitch again. And then you can just slide on over, swing your sword one time, and then don't, just keep on jumping and you'll be able to make it to the bridge over here. Now if you want to make it to the second bridge, that's a little bit more difficult. As you can see, it took me, did take me just a few tries to do. It's just the same as doing the first one, all you actually have to do is jump off until you get to that glitch where you're just kind of floating in the midair. Then all you got to do is swing your sword once and then triple jump on over to the other platform. Now you can't stay up here for too long, but if you're in a very specific location, you can actually stand up here as long as you want. But if you're just trying to roam around or try to actually complete an objective or anything from up here, you probably won't be able to do it. As you will get that 4 second respawn window and then you'll have to do it all over again. This next spot is located in the grottos. Now this isn't any sort of glitch or anything like that. It's really just another one of those cool locations if you want a cool view. Or maybe you just want to take some screenshots and turn your HUD off. This is actually one of the coolest spots you can get into over here on the Cosmodrome. Now you will have to make your way all the way around the mountain and be quite quick about it as you will get that 4 second respawn window. But for some reason this platform here is completely safe to be on. And you and a couple friends can easily chill out on here. If you're ever just kind of bored and roaming throughout the Cosmodrome. This is definitely a really cool spot to get to. And it's really easy to get to as well. You don't even really need to have a sword or anything like that. But triple jump does make things a lot easier. Now this next spot can be reached in the Omnigal Strike or in Free Roam. Whichever one you really prefer. I do prefer to use it in Free Roam as it doesn't really do much if you're in the Omnigal Strike. Although sometimes you can use it as like a mini safe spot. So over here if you jump. You do not need to have triple jump. You can get over here with Warlock Glide quite easily. Or you can even get over here with Titan just easily. All you need to do is hop onto the fence. As you can see, if you don't land on the fence, you will get automatically killed, as that is just an automatic death location. However, you can get up onto this roof here and get a couple snipes off and then jump back down if you need to, because you only do have a few seconds. However, when you're close to the fence, there are times where it will allow you to stand up here as a safe spot. Although, I do believe they patched a good majority of the spots, but sometimes it will allow you to do it in the Omnigal Strike. Now, besides that spot, there is actually the spot over here where you saw me die just previously. So if you hop over onto the fences, you will be completely fine. The fences are not a death location, but as soon as you fall into them or onto the right, you will be automatically respawned. There's really not much you can do. You can use it as like a mini safe spot during the Omnigal Strike. However, those bullets that track you will ma make this spot really hard to use, and it's not all that effective. Now as another bonus, unfortunately, me some year one players will know about this, but there was a time when you could actually blade dance all the way over to that other platform. And then you could actually be over there for just a few seconds as well. Now it looks like they did patch it as I just kept hitting an invisible wall. But maybe some of those classic year 1 or even beta players will know what I'm talking about. So here's a quick look at a few other spots if you guys just want to take some really cool screenshots. Now you will probably want to have your HUD off for this as I did turn it off just after I got into these spots. There's a lot of little platforms and walls that you can stand on. I'm not really too sure why. But this is as far back as you can get on this side. And this is actually a pretty awesome screenshot here once your HUD is turned off. So there is that spot there, and then you can also hop around the corner here to this little ledge. And then if you work your way just around the building, there are some more fences you can stand on as well. And these definitely do make for some pretty ridiculous screenshots. All you really have to do is just get on the water tower. That's the highest point you can be in. Fortunately, I did try jumping around the corner, but nothing was rendered in, so it was just an automatic death location. And you can't get on the roof either, but I just figured I would try and show you guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy these locations and can use them for some pretty awesome screenshots and just hanging out with your friends. So hopefully if you guys did enjoy this video and learned some new spots today, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're not already for future Destiny videos. I do upload daily and my mic doesn't usually sound this terrible. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.